Luke, I've got to leave. Oh, not without me, man. Listen, man, I've got to get across that bridge in order to get to the harbor. And I've got to do it now. You hear that, Laura? i got to go. Please understand. I love you, but he's not going to make it alone. I'm going. Understand? Listen, man, will you make your decision? I have not got any more time. Laura? Do I get to pin the metal on your chest when you come home? I love you. I love you. I love you. I'll be all right. Don't worry about Please. it. Please, be careful. Sure, sure. No problem. Please, okay. promise. Please, promise. Oh, sweetheart. Look, you Thank gotta you. go now. Yeah, we gotta go. Thank you. Yeah, we will. We will. I love you, sweetheart. Thanks for knowing me. Thank you. Help me! Don't get out of here! If anybody's coming. No. Anybody at all. I just want to wipe off your face. Let me Don't do check. Oh. Anybody's coming, cops. Anything. Go check. Get out of here. blue jeans, right? I buy bulletproof vests. Now let's get out of this town. It bores me. If they sail away, what? We're gonna swim after them? What? Huh? I probably could have handled this situation. Robert. O'Reilly is gone. I'm sorry, but she's gone. Look, look. This, this isn't your fight. You got more going for you than this, all right? Back out now. Will you get off my back? We're partners. You're stuck, pal. We're partners. I ain't back now. All right, partner. Get us on board the boat. That's your first assignment. Oh, great. Great.
man, but the only way on that tub is the gang plan. So what are we all of a sudden? Are you busy with me? You just gotta walk past Cassidyne and these slob squad up there. Look, the hell is all this luggage? Alex has got a lot of wardrobe, but I mean, this is ridiculous. It looks like there's a, a whole a lot of people coming on I here. I got a steer in the car. Hey, how you doing, pal? Hey, what you doing, man? What's up, yeah. You working on this cup? Ah, just helping out. Yeah? When you guys gonna leave? Ah, it's hard to say. Uh, no boat splits the harbor without an okay at the harbor master. Gee, you really uh, got a lot of luggage on there. You got a lot of guests coming on? Uh, or not yet. They're coming from the airport. Uh, We're just hard to bring the baggage on the hit. I see. Well, see ya. Uh, hey, okay. get, get some tips there, pal. You know what I mean? Get some tips. Did you hear that? Most of it. Yeah. Well, I said, there's a lot of other people coming from the airport. Other people uh, coming on this thing, man. Other people coming on. Right. Right. Any friend of Cassidy's is not going to be a friend of ours, got it? Yeah, I got it. What's up? Hey, what's going on? It's nothing. I, I, I was thinking about the last time I was on a yacht. I thought you said so without me there for a second. Well, just, no. See, I was going to get married at one time in my life. I didn't tell you this, but I really was. No, you didn't. No. <laughs> I was going to get married on a yacht. In a boat? Yeah. Floating wedding? Yeah. You? Yeah, me. But it was the wrong girl. Yeah. Oh? Yeah. What happened is that Scott Baldwin, some guy that you fortunately didn't meet, uh, like KO'd me. Right? Yeah, all right. KO'd me into the water, and I didn't have to marry the wrong girl. That's all. And it was a big calling. Well, it was really oh, like that. Yeah, it was the beginning yeah. of my life, man. It was the beginning of my life with Laura, you know? Well, let's hope it isn't the end of it, huh? Oh, you're cheery. Keep her in suspense. <laughs> Come on, you two. You know I hate being left out. Yes, we know. That's precisely why we're not going to tell you. Absolutely heartless. That's one of his finer traits. Who's it now? Are they coming all the way to the island with us? All the way. Well, you see, I think that uh, Victor's afraid we might be bored. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Let me guess. Let me guess. He has hired a band of gypsies to entertain us, right? Well, no, not that exciting. There are a couple of old friends of ours to play chess with. Chess? Somehow I find that very hard to believe, both in consideration. Must be something else. I can see why you like this girl, Tony. She's got good instincts. Then I'm right? I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Just have to wait. <laughs> ah, here they come. <laughs> Is the diversion going to work with taxis and limos coming in like a damn parade, man? So this clown that you've hired for a hundred bucks is going to come through. I mean, we've got to have everyone, like everyone looking the wrong Robert, way. Robert, this it. is no clown. I have faith in this man. Why? you got instinct, all right? I know these people down here. This guy will not let us down. Trust me, okay? Can I quote you on that? Go right ahead. Good. Right. How long is it going to take us to get up the gangplank? How fast can you run? Depends on who's on my tail, pal. Well, I'll be chasing you for stuff. I'll be up there like that. Wait a minute. I know this guy. What? This guy, that guy who just went in. The guy in the uniform. He's, uh, um, uh, I know him from, from uh, Frank Smith last year. Uh, right here on the harbor. He's a harbor commissioner oh, or something like that. Hell. That's what I was afraid of. What, what, what? What does that mean? 
It means that the Castodines have probably got their clearance to leave port. That's what it means. Come back. There he is. Come on. It's a hundred dollars riding it. Go, go, go. Roll. Roll like you. Sir, I hate to bother you, but I'm with a gourmet liquor delivery. We got this huge order from this yacht here, you know, and my driver seems to be lost or something. Do you know if they're going to leave soon or anything? Well, I just gave them their clearance papers. They're free to leave immediately. No kidding. Gee, I hate to lose my job. I don't suppose you could maybe uh, stall them or something? They've been pressing me for permission all day. Oh, yeah? I'd assume they'll launch right away. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, better find a phone. Thank you, sir. Man's got his walking papers, man. He can leave any time he wants. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Meanwhile, Captain Ahab's looking for the great white whale. Captain, I'm gonna check this out. I mean, I can't even see this guy from here. Where do you think you're going? Stay put. You're never, you're never gonna make it. You, you give these two pea brains more credit than they deserve. I'll bet you I can walk right up the gangplank. They wouldn't even know who the hell I was. Yeah, well, be that. Where the hell is this? I don't know. Row, man, wherever you are. Row. <laughs> Find that joke, man. Stay put. You fool. Wherever you are, jump in the water. Wherever you want, jump.
out there in the water. Well, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Yeah, where are we going? Out. Stay. I'm gonna be Yeah, where? Mm -hmm. Well, think a little faster. Uh, uh, okay, we gotta get down a hatch and into the cargo hall. That's, that's the safest place for us. All right, where is it? Um, we gotta get to the far side of the deck. And then get into the galley. Come on, this way. All right, I'm with you. Just as a you know, matter of random interest, how did you do it, sweetheart? Oh, it was easy. It was so easy. See, all the maids and the stewards, they were going on, and they were carrying uh, suitcases and all kinds of things. So I just picked up uh, somebody's overnight bag, right? And I walked right on board, right with the rest of them. Walked on board? Yeah. Robert, she walked on board. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have I done that. It. Why not? Because it's dangerous, Laura. It's dangerous, and you're leaving the boat right now. No, I'm not. Robert, will you help me get this woman off this boat? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Stop. Stop right there. You come one step closer, and I'm going to scream bloody murder. Oh, darling, now listen to me. No, I won't listen to you. You know what your problem is? You never learn to listen to anybody. That's not true. Yes, it is true. How dare you think? that what happened to O'Reilly didn't upset me as much as it did you, that it didn't make me as angry as it did you, and, and that I don't care about Robert as much as you do, and I love you. I'm supposed to be married to you. I don't care how dangerous it is. Listen, sweetheart, this is going to get really tacky. I mean, this could be really dangerous. No kidding. I don't care. You're stuck with me, all right? So you better just get used to it. The only thing you have to worry about right, right now is just to uh, figure out some way to stop Cass and I and... And maybe get some dinner, you know? I'm hungry.
And you're getting off the boat right now? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, Yes, you are. Yes, yes, you are. No, Don't argue with me. You're Ow. getting off this boat Don't right you now. Don't argue with me. I'm not getting off this boat. You're not pushing me around this summer. I am not. What, this summer? This summer has nothing to do with you or last summer. You get off the boat. It, it has everything to do with it. I'm not getting off the boat. I'm staying right here. It's too dangerous for you. I don't want it you here. It is not too dangerous for me. You're not going to get in my way. Why don't you shut up? Don't tell her to shut up, Robert. Well, looks like nobody's going anywhere now, except out to sea. Sorry. Looks like you're stuck with me. Ah, shut up. Terrific. I'm all at sea with two bloody amateurs. Frills economy package, right? We're on the Z deck here. Oh. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I can handle this, all right? I proved myself last summer. Hey, where are you going, man? Get us some blankets, unless you want to impersonate a frozen hamburger. Get out of the way. travel agency <laughs> it's not that bad it's the worst you should have never done this you should have never gotten on board oh laura when i think of your poor mother and father oh don't start that with me luke i did think of my poor mother and father and i wrote them a note and i even managed to mail it they're not going to worry about me. Once they know I'm with you, they'll know that I'll be just fine. And what's more, they're going to tell Bobby and Ruby, so they won't worry either. So there. So thank you. So you're welcome. Hey. What the 
hell is that? Luke? Morning. Go, go back to sleep. I can't sleep. I'm too hungry. Uh, um, uh, does, does anybody have an aspirin? Luke, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Luke, what is it? What's wrong? I think what we have before us here is a classic example of seasickness. No. Seasick? I'm not... Is that what you are? Are you seasick? No, I'm not. I'm not seasick. No? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I think maybe he's just hungry. You're absolutely right. Well, we have gone for a long, long time without food. I don't know about you, but all I can think about is this big plate of scrambled eggs and maybe some pancakes and, oh, and sausage. Right. All of that. No, right. No, no, no sausage. Listen, mate. Well, really, Robert, we've got to get some food down here. I know, I know. I can't eat now. I don't want to eat. I listen, want to eat. I, I, don't, I couldn't. Now, eat. listen to me, all right? You've got to keep up your strength, and that applies to all of us. This cruise has hardly even begun yet. First, I've got to find out where this formula is. I don't know how long that's going to take me. And I've got to find a way to get to the radio room. I've got to get a message to headquarters. I think it's time that I went up. Now? It's broad daylight. Yeah, but they'll all be on deck. I've got to find out whether the main salon is empty, and then I've got to get to the radio room. Are you going to look for the formula, too? First things first, sweetheart. And they're not going to just leave a line about it. It's probably in a safe. So first, I've got to find the safe. Lord, man, you're not going to go upstairs a lot. I'll go. Hey, I'll listen, go. listen. Frankly, I don't think you're in any condition to be doing I, anything. Come on. But I'm all right. I can go with you. Oh, now, look, you stay here and look after Popeye, all right? I am fine. Like Laura said, all I am is just a little hope. Uh -uh. Hey, look, don't worry about it. Look, you'll get over it. Really, you'll get over it. And don't worry about me. I know this shit real well. He doesn't know what he's talking about, Lord. He doesn't know where the hell we are. Just quietly. Hey. See this room up here? The one that we found you in. Okay. It's what they call the green salon. Uh, sorry, mate. No jokes about your color. Unbelievable. Yeah, you go ahead. Right. Now, directly above that, what we have is the cruise eating quarters. Then we have the galley. That's where I'm going to get the food. Okay. Right. What I'll do is I'll then bring the food down back to the green salon and I'll knock three times on the hatch. Three times. Right. That way you'll know it's me. Okay. Okay. I'll knock three times. Right, three times. Now, if anybody else comes down that hatch, do a vanishing act because it won't be me. Right, because if it's you, you're going to knock three times. I'm going to knock three times. Right. Remember. Three, me, food. Got it? Okay, I got it. Right. You get something to drink, too. I'll oh, work on I like a chili dog. Be careful. You shouldn't come here. Uh, Luke, I'm not complaining. Mm. Can you understand that? I'm doing fine. You're the one who's sick. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm just uh, uh, worried about your being here. That's all. Luke, it's too on. dangerous. How many times do we have to go over and over that? Don't you understand? Look, I should have really, I should have never let you come here on the spot. Well, you didn't have much to say about it after what happened to O'Reilly. You know, O'Reilly was a very smart old lady, and she would have never let you come on this boat. 
No, she would have been the first to understand why I would want to be here with you in danger instead of at home. Poor Charles worrying about you. Are you listening? Are you too sick to hear what I, I'm saying? I... What are you saying? I'm saying that uh, we promised each other we were going to be together. Always. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Well, this is probably something that we're going to remember as long as we live. I mean, I can just see us when we're just like um, Ma and Pa Whitaker, you know? We're sitting there in our rocking chairs side by side, just rocking away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm really sorry. You're okay. You okay? Yeah. Anyway, I'll say to you, Luke, remember the time that we were in that cargo hold together in that boat where you got seasick? Well, I'm not sick. <laughs> yes, you are. And you'll say, Laura, that's not a boat. That was not a boat. That was a ship. An honest to goodness ship with people up on top who wanted to rule the world, but we wouldn't let him do it. Oh, honey. You, you really make a guy not want to up, Chuck. <laughs> I love you. You're going to be okay. <sighs> you think that this, uh, this whole thing is going to turn out all right, don't you? Of course I do. I'm really sure of it. And in the meantime, we're not going to sit down here quaking in our boots, are we? No. No way. We're going to make it, aren't we? Mm. You, me, Robert, together, we're going to make it. you got to believe that, Luke. I do. I feel totally confident about this whole thing. Why are you looking at me like this? Because you, you have changed so much since I first met you. I know. It's your fault, too. You have yourself to blame for that, because you taught me. Are you all right? Uh, uh, what is wrong with me? I don't know. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I think we just need something to eat, huh? No, don't talk about it. Oh. It's Robert. Please, please, please. 
let's raise a toast, shall we? To the formula and food. <laughs> hey. Better. Hey, listen, mate, try the pizza. It's absolutely superior. Frozen and all. Come on, Luke. I can't. Let's have a bite. I, don't, I can't eat, you know. I just. Not right now. I'm not real hungry. Come on, Luke. Just try. <laughs> Sorry. Come Let on. him alone, sweetheart. Look, he'll eat when he feels like it. I can't eat when the world is rolling around. Poor baby. He's got a tummy ache. Stuff it, dear. You know what? You really disappoint me, you know. After all this talk about your life on the waterfront. You see, looks are terribly underdeveloped. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be something? What? Huh? If I turned out to be the tough one, I mean tougher than Luke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be funny, you know. I mean, it really would. I, bet. I do come from a long line of very, very tough females. Well, tell me about it. Well, my mother, for one. She's a, she's a very tough lady. Tougher oh. than most men. Oh. Yeah, she's a pretty terrific lady, all right. Yeah, she's tough, especially since she left the roller derby. I know you're thinking about your mom, aren't you? Yeah, my dad, too. I know, babe, I've been thinking about Bobby and Ruby, and Ruby too. I know, me too. We did the same thing to them last summer. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. But at least then somebody knew where we were. Bobby did, you know? Yeah. Nobody knows where we are this time. Nobody. I hope my mom and dad don't worry that much. I caused them so many problems. I just would really hate it if I made them worry all over again. I almost fainted when I saw her handwriting. Dear mom and dad, what, read us yourself. I don't have to. Thanks. Dear mom and dad, I have gone away with Luke. I don't want to upset you anymore and or worry you as I did last summer, but it was necessary. Please do not worry about me. I'm a big girl now, and Luke will take care of me. There's so much I want to explain right now, but I only have a moment to write this. I will contact you as soon as I can with all my love. Laura. Well, at least it's a letter. It's something. It's a I know, but it's not enough. I want to know more. The sooner we conclude our business on board this ship, the sooner you get back to Port Charles. You're right. right. Let's, uh, let's not lose sight of the reason that we're really here. All right, look, hey, okay, don't worry about me, all right? Oh, of course you won't. See, look, he's not half as green as he was. Mm. Right, down to business. Right. Listen, look, really, if you, if you had just a piece of bread or something, it's a little something on your stomach, maybe feel better. Good boy. <laughs> Okay, the first thing we have to do is find this safe. All right. Now, where do we find it? And when? What do you mean, when? Well, life on board a ship has a kind of a rhythm to it, okay? Certain times of the day, you do certain things in certain places. It develops into a sort of a pattern, especially on a long trip like this. I see. So all we have to do is figure out uh, who is where, when. Well, that's sort of what I was getting at. I mean, for instance, when I was topside before, the salon, the main salon, was full of people, and Cassidy's two Bogotá idiots were in the radio room. Oh, and... those two. I'll never forget the first time that I saw them. They were outside of your apartment. I've never been so scared in my life. Yeah, well, they can do a whole lot more than that, love, especially when they're programmed correctly. Yeah, come on, Robert. As far as I'm concerned, those two are walking wheat germs. We have to worry about the other people on this boat. Now, you think that they're all involved in this thing? I don't know. It's just possible that Cassidyne doesn't trust his own people. Well, I'll take a look at him, would you? Okay, well, look, this is what we're going to do. During the day, we hit the staterooms, right, while everybody else is on deck and in the main salon. Then at night, we hit everywhere else. Yeah, quick learn. And then what? Right. Now, if there is a safe, it's going to be in either Victor's room, possibly Tony's, maybe the main cell, and we have to check them all, all right? Not very. Well, she can pick her up. There's somebody coming. 